Good morning. We got a new cereal this morning. Quaker Oats. Old fashioned. My grandma used to uh, make this recipe, which really got me hooked on oatmeal. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this the bomb oatmeal. Now, cook the oats in cold water and salt. Let the water eventually warm on the oats. All right. Now, we're going to follow the instructions on the box and uh, get this oatmeal nice and ready. <laughs> It says you can cook this in one minute, but I like to slow cook my oats. The slower, the better. Now it's time to add the spices. These spices will upgrade your oatmeal. First, you'll add the nutmeg. Little butter. <laughs> and we sprinkle some sugar. And finally, the evaporated milk. Now you gotta get the Borden's evaporated milk. Don't get generic kind, get Borden's because it has a good flavor to it. Let me mix this around. <laughs> Stir it around to make sure my flavoring's right. Mm-hmm. nutmeg and the cinnamon and the butter and evaporated milk it's just a perfect combination oats are soft great texture this is the bomb oatmeal mm. I'm a grayscale definitely an A Hey, it's the 100th episode of the Serial Man. <laughs> it took me four years to get to 100 episodes. This is a very big milestone for me. Thank you for staying loyal. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for letting me know to continue to make the Serial Man. I really appreciate it. On that note, let's get to these questions, all right? Taki616 asks, will you ever try oat milk again? And which cereal brand do you think is the best? I would never try oat milk again. I lost a subscriber because I didn't like oat milk. <laughs> I just didn't like it. Some people do. The best brand to me as of 2021 is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They're killing the competition. Every cereal they drop is hot. IR. IR ask. Do you recall all the cereals that came with dry fruit, strawberries, bananas, cranberries? As a matter of fact, I do recall a cereal like that. Uh, I used to go to my grandma's house and she didn't buy sugary cereals. So we had to eat her fruit and fiber, which was pretty good, man. Delicious, but I don't know if you're talking about that. Maybe you're talking about these two brands. Steven Morris asks, what is my ideal cereal? My ideal cereal would be a cereal called Bananas. They have banana shapes and it tastes like an intense bananas flavor. And it will never sog like O's. Packed with vitamins and nutrients. <laughs> Argonautilus wrote, Would you consider rating some international cereals such as Dr. Oker's German cereals? Oh yes, of course. Just stay tuned for the second season of the Cereal Man. Alan Rees wrote, if you could bring back any extinct cereals from the 80s, what would their top five be? <laughs> oh, well, I would go with Waffalo's Blueberry, Powder Donut Cereal, Ice Cream Jones Cereal, Donkey Kong Jr. Cereal, and Fruity Island Cereal. Oh, yeah. JD wrote, is there a way to purchase both modern and classic cereals that you give in the B plus or higher? Not classic cereals but yes modern cereals yes you can check your grocery stores or you got to check ebay or amazon aj wrote if you consider rating international cereals would you be up to taste the canadian birthday cake 10 bit cereal oh yeah just stay tuned to the second season of the cereal man sherry malik wrote 
What is your favorite cereal of all time? I don't have a favorite cereal, but I got about 10 favorite cereals. <laughs> Uncle Laszlo wrote, if you could rotate three cereals for a lifetime, what would they be? Uh, Donkey Kong Jr., Powdered Donut Cereal, and Ice Cream Cone Cereal. For real. Well, viewers, thank you again for watching The Cereal Man. I deeply appreciate it. I'll be back for the second season with an even better Cereal Man. So y'all stay tuned. Well, see you next year on The Cereal Man.